hometown hero, sponsored by Rotolo Chevrolet. I am a fire captain here at Station 31, and I uh, ride the truck. I promoted in 2019, shortly before uh, the pandemic, so I was kind of thrown in the fire to learn the position. You know, 2020 was obviously a crazy year, but I, I'm really enjoying this position as a fire captain. We're gonna walk down memory lane, okay? okay? So we're gonna go back a little bit. Valencia High School. I can imagine that's where your, your football talent was kind of cultivated, am I right? Yes, that's when I realized that I had a little bit of talent. Um, so yeah, Valencia High School, that's where it all started. And when you look back at your time as a Bruin, what sticks out to you the most? Um, just the relationships you develop with your teammates. You know, I, I think, um, you know, looking back at it with the life experience I have now, it's it was invaluable. Those are, those are great times. And then 2005, you drafted yes. to Washington. What was that moment like when you realized that you were going pro? I did not know I was even good enough to go pro until I believe it was my sophomore year. Um, we had a change in our coaching staff at UCLA and Eric Bieniemy, uh, who's now the offensive coordinator with the Chiefs, uh, he was now my running backs coach and he saw something in me that I guess I didn't see in myself. You know, he sat me down, he's like, hey, you have the ability to, to go pro. And once he told me that, I think a light switch went off and um, I, I guess I started to believe in myself, you know. But actually, the, the day of the draft, I told myself I was not gonna watch it. My parents had a big party at the house. I stayed at my apartment, I didn't even talk to them the whole day. It was pretty cool calling them and telling them and being on the phone and then seeing the selection made on TV and hearing them celebrate. And, and you know, it, that was just a great feeling. So you go from fighting for your team on the field to fighting fires for yes. your community. You've got to tell me how that switch happened. You know, I've always looked up to my uncle. He was a captain with Los Angeles City Fire Department. And um, in high school, I had mentioned in an interview <laughs> with the local newspaper that I wanted to be a firefighter. Fast forward, my football career is over. I really don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Apparently, he had that article in his office, um, and the chief walked by and said, hey, is your nephew still interested in being a firefighter? And he was like, let me find out. He called me and kind of planted that seed in me again, and then I did the necessary things to be where I'm at now. What do you find most rewarding about it? I like the team. I, I, like, the, I like the team environment. I um, also like, you know, when people are having the worst day of their, their life, they call us, and we help them, you know what I mean? And they leave in most cases, uh, in better shape than they did when they called us. So just knowing that I'm able to uh, make that impression on someone and to help, that is uh, very fulfilling. Manny's biggest impression came when he was actually off duty in 2015, training to become a fire captain, when he was called into action at a Long Beach gym. So I'm working out and I hear a commotion and I turn and somebody had went into cardiac arrest. So what I did, I, I, it was like an out of body experience. I just reacted, went, I uh, initiated CPR, and we brought that individual back to life. And to this day, me and him have a great relationship. Wow, I mean, he, wouldn't, he, he may not have made it if it wasn't for you. I mean, it was, it was a divine timing, let's just say that. Yeah, divine timing. Do you consider yourself a hero? No, no, I'm not, I, I just do my job. I do what I'm called on to do, and, that, and that's it. And do you think your, um, the drive to protect your quarterback has any relation to your protective instincts when it comes to sure. doing what you do now? Sure, <laughs> I, I think it does. I, I've always been one, um, um, I like to service others. That's always kind of been my MO. Um, so what better uh, career than a firefighter to, to do that? <laughs>